Welcome to another episode of the Dangerous Divas Podcast. I'm super freaking excited for today's topic. We're talking about focusing on the things that we can control and not the things that we cannot control. Um, one, one of the things that I would say, you know, it's like COVID. We, we can't control what happened with COVID. Like as bad as it is and as sucky as this entire year and a half has been, we can't control it. There's nothing we can do about this disease. There's nothing we can do about um, the situation that, we're, that we were living in. And for some of you still living in, because I know a lot of countries are still on quarantine, which is super crazy. But yeah, you know, it, it sucks, but we cannot control that situation, right? There's literally nothing we can do about it at all. Like, it just, it, it was written, I don't know if you guys saw, but like, there's a lady that wrote a book years ago that said that there was a disease that was going to come in and then disappear all of a sudden and then come back in 10 years. So I guess in 10 years we're up for another episode. But anyways, it's already happening without you doing anything about it, right? Like COVID is already, it has been already going on without you doing anything. So staring at your phone literally every hour, um, of the day looking at uh, everything that's going on isn't getting you anywhere at all, right? You need to focus on the things that you can control rather than in things you cannot control. So let's talk about fitness, okay? The gym is closed or you don't have access to a gym or you have to wear a mask in the gym, whatever, it sucks, right? It totally sucks, but you cannot control that. You cannot control that you can't go there, right? You get motivated by doing there, but now you can't. There's literally nothing you can do about it. So instead of complaining about it and not doing anything about it, how about we focus on the things we can control, like your diet, your home workouts, your mindset is huge, right? We, we've got to stop playing the victim in the game of, you know, I can't do this, I can't do that, oh, I don't have time. Like, okay, well, I'll have the same amount of time as you. And everybody else that's super successful has the same amount of time as you. So you've got to focus on the things you can control. And the only difference between people that are succeeding is the people that have a strong mindset. And that their mindset is I can and not I cannot, right? So let's talk about like um, not seeing success in your fitness journey. A lot of people are going to go, well, it's because I'm built that way. And it's because I'm big bone and it's because of my family genetics and whatever. Well, how about instead of trying to control those things, how about we go ahead and control all of everything else that you can do, like changing up your diet, doing more exercises that are more appropriate for your body and also, you know, um, good for your schedule. Like, how about we control these things in order for you to get out of that plateau instead of complaining about everything else but not doing anything about our, our journey, right? So the, the only thing I want you guys to remember is that everything is in your mind. Everything is your mindset. You have an injury, it's all in your head. You have, um, you know, struggling with a fitness journey, it's all in your head. You need to find the tips and tricks that, you know, changes your fitness journey and changes your plateau or whatever you're struggling with. Obviously, there are a couple things that you can do, but there's a lot of things that you cannot control and you have to let it go and control the things that you can, right? So whatever you're struggling with right now, I want you to look back and I want you to think of something that instead of complaining about not having time or not um, being able to do a workout because your kids are at summer break or not, I don't know, not being able to eat healthy because your friends are over, I want you to go ahead and try to control the things that you can like waking up 30 minutes early so that you can do your workout um, before your kids wake up from summer break and not having time. Putting it in your schedule that your workout is going to get done no matter what. It is in my schedule, guys. Like in my schedule from this time to this time, I got to work out. Um, putting in that you're going to meal prep no matter if your friends are here or not. Now, are you going to be 100% on track? Probably not because you're going to end up going out or whatever. But making sure that you are succeeding with the things that you can do rather than complaining about the things that you cannot do. So I want you to get ahead of the game, right? If you want to get ahead of the game, embrace your mindset and be happy. 
and control the things that you can while having a good mindset so that you can come out of this situation on the brighter positive side rather than the negative side. I hope that helped you understand um, how to control things differently rather than complaining about not being able to control things. If you're listening to this podcast, thank you so much for hopping on and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace!